important to talk about loneliness in the awakening. So I don't know about you, but I experience the body experiences a lot of loneliness. A lot of loneliness. Um, I, I do say quite a few times that, unfortunately, when it comes to physical family, I wasn't the luckiest in the world. Um, the people that have enhanced my life have been people that came to me, like soul brothers and sisters family, rather than blood family. But this is the time where people today, for example, they're all out there walking their dogs, connecting to their families, they're able to be with their families, the physical family. And I'm here on my own with two cats. And it's lonely. The body is lonely. The body doesn't like this. The body, the ego wanted a lot more from life. So how are you feeling today? Are you feeling lonely? You know, you can feel lonely with people. And a lot of the time I have done because a lot most because I'm an indigo star seed. <laughs> it's very easy to feel lonely around people. When I'm with my tribe, the people that I can talk to and um, who identify with me, which is very few in this world that I can talk to. I have an amazing friend in Scotland. She is more like my sister than anything. She connects to me and calls me at least once a week or texts me. I'm so grateful for her. She brings a lot of light and beauty and fun into my life. And I miss her because I can't see her. She lives in Scotland. I have wonderful, beautiful friends that I've created through the awakening on Facebook. Brave souls, indigos like me, <clears throat> that are happy to go out there and change the world. And they're there for me on Facebook. I can ring one or two of them. But here in the physical, I have no one. No one in, in this neighborhood, no one that I, well, because we're social distancing, no one wants to know. You could talk over the fence for five minutes and then they go back in to their families. I don't think anyone can understand how people that don't have a physical family feel at the moment okay you fall out you have disagreements with the family but the family i was born into the sister and nieces that i was they're like that tight and i don't belong because i'm an indigo because i'm different i have different beliefs i've always been different when my father was alive i felt like i had a family my dad I'm talking about the body and the ego and the darkness. And I felt like I really needed to do an awakening about loneliness because a lot of us are feeling very dis dis just on our own. The body feels alone, disconnected. There's very few people. You can't talk to anyone really. As I say, the neighbors say hi, then they go back in. Um, the other one doesn't want to know. They're, they're just, you know, the duality, that side that supports Bill Gates and supports the NHS and everything that I am not. I try to explain to people that I don't need doctors, that I'm my own doctor. I don't want medicine anymore unless I break my leg or something, God forbid, that's different. But for the majority of conditions, I know what to do. Why don't they just respect this? So this is all the darkness, guys. And as you know, the awakening is taking us from the darkness into the light. And I didn't do an awakening yesterday, so I feel like doing two today. They cut me off Facebook Live, so I can't do my posting. I can do it on Hope Glory, uh, so please join me on Hope Glory. But I can't do it on my Facebook where I have 4,000 friends nearly and people from all over the world. So people are not joining me. And, and so it's lonely. It's lonely. It's lonely. And the body, the, is the, this is the duality. This is the darkness. The body feels alone. It feels disconnected. It feels like I've got no one. What would happen to me if 
nothing, no one, no one, no one, no one. Um, if God forbid anything happened, I'd have to deal with it on my own. If I fell and I couldn't get up, I, I, I would have to make a phone call and ask someone to come because at the moment, there's no one. My partner is with his family. And when he comes back, he doesn't understand how he feels. There's no empathy. Only people that can have empathy are those that feel like me. So this is the darkness, this is the ego, this is the body. The body that's saying, oh, Lauren looks nice today, natural, no wig, it's just her. She looks good, doesn't she? And the ego wants you to say, wow, Lauren looks good. She looks about 30 years old. Wow, how does she do it? How does she look so young? That's the ego. That's the mind of the ego. Looking for praise, looking for people. It's a bit like a vampire. It can't get enough. It can't get enough. It takes, it takes, it takes. It wants more and more and more. And if there's lack of fulfillment, then it's trying to go out there and get what it feels is its right. So the ego and loneliness. And it's hard to be lonely, guys. I identify with you. So I want to come from the darkness into the light. I don't want to stay in the loneliness. I will do a Facebook Live with Hope Glory and hope that some people join. I do have friends to ring and say, hey, I'm lonely today. How are you? How are you today? So that's coming into the light. Now, the soul, the spirit cannot feel any loneliness. It feels connected to everything. And I'm going to give you a big example here that one year, it was my birthday. And I don't like being alone on my birthday. My father was away and was, is in Israel. My best friend in Scotland, my husband went to work. And it was just Lauren on her own on her birthday. And I didn't like it. I didn't want to be on my own on my birthday. And so... I did a meditation and something happened. It was really strange. It was like everyone I loved that year were there in the room with me. I can't explain it. I felt totally fulfilled that day. I had one of the best birthdays I've ever had. It was like there was no body, physical body. Everybody was here and we were hugging, like hugging, hugging like we're not able to do physically at the moment, hugging and hug yourself. If you were here, I'd hug you in a heartbeat. You wouldn't even think about it. It's natural. Heart to heart hugs. Heart to heart, sorry, the heart's here. Heart to heart hugs to connect as humans. Hugging, a hug a day keeps the doctor away. Why do you think they stopped us from hugging, hey? The little book of hugs, validation, love. So that day, I didn't need the human body in form. I had it. I had the love. I had the spiritual love was everywhere. And I can't explain it, guys. I really can't explain it. How was everyone here? But they were. They were all around me. All around me. And it was magical. It was magical. I had one of the best birthdays ever. Me and the cats in, in the house on my own, but not on my own. My friend from Scotland was here. My husband was here from work. My father, my loved ones, they were all here wishing me happy birthday and hugging me. And then I went off and I did some singing as Edith Piaf. No, yeah, yeah. And... Uh, they made me a gluten-free cake in the home that I sang at. Happy days. This was 1984. Sorry, 1984. What am I talking about? 2014, 15. Year before Dad died. 2015, I think it was. Year before I lost my father and, and then the dark night. The soul came in, yada, yada, yada. It was an incredible birthday. I'll never forget it. It was one of the best birthdays of my life. And so today I'm on my own, but I'm not. I've got you. I've got the computer. I've got Facebook live on a different account. Maybe I will talk to people about loneliness. Maybe. Are you lonely? Negotiate the loneliness. Sit with the loneliness. Ask the loneliness to come up. Come up. Come up. Where does it come from? It comes from my childhood. The lonely little girl sitting on the steps in school, having no friends in Israel. 
the loneliness needs to come up. It needs to be expressed to come out of you. And the only way you can do that is through going through it and feeling it. So if I feel lonely today, I'm going to go make a, an amazing salad for me to nurture me. What can you do today if you're lonely? You can pick up the phone, you can ring a friend, you can see how they are. You can watch an amazing holistic thing. You can watch The Awakening, watch Moving on TV, or go out into, the, into nature, into the sun if it shines, it keeps coming and going. Make a list of all the things, if not, just sit. It's not too bad to be just with Laura now. I like her. I love her. I think she's got this amazing spirit and she goes out there and trying to get an interview with Robbie Williams at the moment. Lauren goes out there and she does what she believes in. I do whatever I feel like within my boundaries. And today I'm going to be editing and putting on some more programs. We've got cat politics starting. Cat politics about cats, what really goes on in their minds. Stephen Highfield, my friend, created it. I'm going to put it on for you. Edit it and put it on. Hopefully you're going to like it. You can come on and make your own programs. If you're lonely, talk about your loneliness on Moving On TV. Talk about how it feels. What does it feel to you? What does loneliness mean? To me, it feels like everybody is in groups and tribes and there's me in my little box. Nobody wants me. Nobody loves me. Nobody cares about me. But that's not true. It's like Byron Katie says, is it true? Just because you're in your house on your own, does that mean that you've got no one in your life? Does it mean that tomorrow I'm going to be having um, a workshop of encounters? We're all coming together at five o'clock on Zoom and the loneliness will go when I work on my music. I connect to my spirit. I connect to the universe. So what does it mean to be lonely to you? It's a little girl. It's a little girl in Israel sitting on the steps feeling unhappy. That's what loneliness is to me. What is it to you? Let that little girl come up, express her sadness. The sun's coming out again. Every time I do the awakening, the sun comes out. The sun's coming out. It's a little girl that had no friends, a little girl that was unhappy. Who is that lonely for you? What is that lonely for you? Where is it coming from? Can you pinpoint the lonely? Sit with the lonely. Sit with the lonely, let her come up, let the little girl cry, let the little boy cry. Lonely. What does the word lonely mean? Let's have a look what the word means on, on Google. What does the word lonely mean? Lonely. L-O-N-E-L-Y. Lonely meaning. The word lonely says sad because one has no friends or company. What is the definition of being lonely? Loneliness is a state of being alone and feeling sad about it. Your loneliness might lead you to sit at home listening to depressing songs, that's the darkness, or it could inspire you to go out and meet people. You can be alone and enjoy every minute of it. It's a feeling of sadness or even anxiety that occurs when you want company. Right, that's what it says in, 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 on Google. What is loneliness? What is, does it mean to be lonely? So I might put two awakenings on today if I can. One is about um, duality and neutrality. And the second one is about loneliness. I get a lot of um, satisfaction from doing my creativity, from coming on here and then putting this out for you. I don't want you to feel like this, but what right have I got to take it away from you? Because once you go through it, then you start to understand that it's okay to be lonely. It's okay to be alone. It's okay to feel sad. It's okay to feel disconnected. It is okay to be lonely. It's okay to be lonely and sad, but it, it's good to go from the dark into the light by taking the loneliness 
and understanding that other people feel lonely too and you're able to take that into the light and do something that you love I could do a tarot reading today for Aries because I was going to do a tarot reading today for Aries or can Cancerians. I think it's Aries today because I'm I haven't done that Aries yet. Or it could be Cancerians because we're in can Cancer at the moment, the Cancer sign. No need to be lonely, guys. Love you lots, and maybe one day I'll be able to figure out how to make this mic work. <laughs> Take care now. Love you lots. You can contact me at movingontv1 at gmail.com. Come on and make your own programs. I've got people from all over the world who are going to be hosting programs with Moving On TV. Love you lots. Take care. Bye.